Are you guys gonna do anything or are you just gonna... Are you fucking kidding me? What? How the fuck did... Oh my god, I actually got fucking hit. I'm gonna die from it! Son of the fuck! Seriously? God, fucking get out of here, game. Well, I can just do this. Hog named Hensel. So it is first rate to marry and so work. <clears throat> huh. Nothing useful here. They must have been pawns. Report back to Death Mold. Yet, Hensel courts the Imperial Envoy like a cheap whore who has singled out a burger with a full pouch at the brothel. Keep in mind that whore can let anyone she wishes plow her, or arse her choice. The king owes us more. His arse belongs to all of us, and his name is Kedwin. Dare we allow a Nilfgaardian prick to plow our country? As my friend who is a witcher says, if that's what the world needs to be saved, perhaps it would be better that it perish. Fucking dandelion. Oh, looks like I'm trapped in here now. <laughs> the fuck? What the hell do they have magnifying glass glasses? Oh. Okay. 
you can't do that, definitely not yet. Uh, other side of the mist, other side of the mist. I work on lifting the curse. Okay, talk to Dandelion and Death Mole. Other side of the mist. Wait, how do I... Oh, I gotta get the spearhead from the other side of the mist. So I can... Okay, so that's the only thing I can do over here right now. What the fuck? What is that charging? Oh, that's the adrenaline thing. That's what that is. What the hell is that? <clears throat> Where's Dandelion, by the way? God, he's way over here? <clears throat> Wait. No, that's definitely in the lower. What's he doing over here? Is this your crap? <laughs> Found a letter addressed to the people of Kedwin. <laughs> a letter? Mm, so? It's your drivel, idiot. Where'd you get that idea? I know you. Not to mention you had the gall to quote me. You're not the only witcher in the world. So, you admit it's yours? Sure, it's mine. People have had enough of that pompous clown colluding with Nilfgaard. I decided I needed to open their eyes a little wider. Any idea what that pompous clown's going to do when he finds out who's opening his people's eyes? How would he find out? It could only come from you, and I assume, at least I hope, you won't rat me out. They're going to kill you. Nah. Why did you poke your nose in this? Henselt approached me to write a few panegyrics about him. You know, singing his praises? Can you imagine that? Me? Writing a political pamphlet? Who the hell does he think I am? But that's exactly what this letter is. Possibly. But it's for a good cause. Henselt's a prick. <laughs> Fucking dandelion. Alright, put up the death mold, and then we're gonna go to the other side of the mist and be like, What's up, Saskia? I'm only here for random shit. Don't worry. Actually, I'm there for a lot. <laughs> Shut up, bitch. I think I know how to free the king from his curse. Well then, let's get to work. Can't do anything until I have the spear the soldier stabbed Sabrina with. Problem is, it's in the hands of a Scoia'tael commander named Yorvin. I know this Yorvin. Are you certain this is the spear? Mm -hmm. I last saw him back in Flotsam. Yorvin is in Vergen, Witcher. Along with most of the Scoia'tael from the area, they've joined that peasant girl's insurgency. Yorvin part of a peasant uprising? It doesn't make sense. <clears throat> one way to confirm or disprove it. You must cross to the other side of the mist. What are the other artifacts? Do you know them all? Yeah, so... <clears throat> In that case, you must wait until you've learned everything before crossing. It's a dangerous voyage. Not one to attempt twice, wouldn't you say? Yeah, I'd say. Yeah, so... <sighs> oh, he chose you, your bet. Your, your Beth. Your Beth, I'd be on the other side of the mist. And then I'd have to come over here. So that's why I would get to know them that side a lot better. I found Trot and a few other enthusiasts of the Square Coins. Did you learn who leads them? No. Any survivors? No. Oh, you might at least have spared Trot. I'm sure he had secrets. How was I going to fucking spare him? I don't know how I could have. Hexy, maybe not. Any reward for the conspirators? Indeed. A nice round sum per head. One can never have too much coin. How many were there? Vincent and five others. You killed six men. You and your kind should be isolated. What? The reward is yours. 
Yeah. What the fuck? Philippa Eilhart and Sabrina Glevity. From Mandrake, Seaman, and Brimstone. Literally the only reason I went this way though, like instead of going with Yorveth and on uh, the other side of the mist was because of Roach. It's literally the only reason. Because Yorveth just sounded like a fucking... Eh. Whereas Roach is a... I like Roach. Okay, so... Yep. This side of the mist, other side of the mist. To lift the curse, I gotta go to the other side of the mist. Wait, wait for events to unfold. Go to the other side of the mist. All right, looks like we're going to the other side of the fucking mist. Zoltan, where are you, dude? However, I wonder if it matters which where I go. Um. Well, they probably have shit we can sell for over there. Maybe. God, I'm fine. I'm fine. Blech. Like, I can go there, those two places. So I can go here or down here. I want to try down here first. Actually, nah. I'll go this way. <sighs> you know what? No, I'm gonna go that way first. I want to see if it makes a difference. I fought the new Guardians. Oh, great. All these harpies are new. Whatever. I could use the experience and the harpy materials. Okay, where is the entrance? It's over here. I just want to, like I said, I just want to see if there's a difference. I want to see if I can go through here. If it'll just take me... Do I have to actually kill these things? Hey, where do I go? I don't know where the fuck it went. Oh god. Where did Zoltan go? Oh, he's fighting him. Okay, we should probably just go. I don't know if this is the way it's telling me to go, but I'm going this way. Literally don't know where to go. Okay, so, but it brings me to the same place no matter where I go. Well, we'll see, actually.
Okay, we're just gonna run, because fuck this. <laughs> I'm out. What? What the f- Okay. What? Uh-oh. Where did it go? It just fucking... Didn't show me anymore. Alright, so we're not gonna fight, we're just gonna run. <laughs> oh, I have to... Oh. I have to go like this. I was like, game? Okay, so did it? <laughs> okay, so it did. So, I went down here and it just teleported me up here. Okay, gotcha. Okay, okay. We can put... Never again. Fucking fog. Look at it this way. You'll be able to brag about seeing the ghostly fog from the inside for the rest of your life. I'd rather brag about how I plowed three wedges at once in my youth. Okay, well, I'm gonna go this way first. Maybe I don't want to go this way first. <clears throat> okay, I might get some quests to go this way, so we should just go this way. Plus Zoltan wants to go. <clears throat> hey, what? Wilhelm! What? Stop! <laughs> You're making a mistake! A mistake? Interesting. There's a war on. Don't know if you've noticed. And wars are won by killing foes. Or do I have it all wrong? The Witcher's a messenger. On his way to see Saskia. Not your typical messenger. Well, I don't know if you noticed. But we had to pass through an atypical fog in which your typical messenger would have shit just before a... Enough! They'll not let you inside Bergen. But you can deliver your message to the commander of the watch. He's stationed by the town gates. Plowing typical elf. Come on, Geralt. <laughs> <clears throat> fucking typical elves. It's fucking bitches. Yeah, there's blood over here. Mm. Mandrake root. Okay, that was gonna almost make me, uh... <clears throat> Let's fuck... <sighs> yeah, get out of my way, fool! Fuck. The circle of strength. Okay, yeah, we'll go this way. I'm sure there's probably a quest in here that I can get. It's gonna have me go out there. Dwarf! Why is Geralt of Rivia and Zoltan Chive? Pinch me, Burden, for I believe I've dozed off while in duty. Could be an illusion, eh? Or some spectres from the battlefield have lost their way. 
Maybe we lost the way. An axe, just to be sure. <laughs> I'm afraid there's no mage out there who can conjure up the Witcher's mug, nor the aroma of Zoltan's beer-soaked beard. <laughs> Yarpen Zigrin. Lice eat me if I'm not delighted to see that horrid mug of yours. <laughs> this lad here's scale and burden. Geralt, what are you doing standing there as if you've swallowed a halberd? Got a hug for an old mate! Greetings. Triss has told me a lot about you. We Merigold? Ha! How is the lass? Let me tell you, Scalen. This here witcher's the very embodiment of chivalry. All the silk cups of the world can't hold a candle to him. And you know why? No, but I got a feeling we're about to find out. <laughs> me? A knight? I'd sooner call Zoltan a show dancer. Yeah. <laughs> well then, listen, everyone. At the time, we were escorting Cadewani army convoys through the Sherwood forests. Aye, aye, we served him. Cher for Sherwood? Sherwood? For Anyways, the Witcher was on the road as well, with Triss and Ciri heading south. The lass, I tell you, was a demoness incarnate. Pure pepper on her feet and healthy as a horse. But the sorceress fell ill. Some terrible pestilence held her, gave her the runs. That woman needed to go every yeah. five minutes. Oh man, that's... I've never seen anything like it. And I've had my share of gut rumblings. This one time, I roasted an old ailing. No, nope, you're not the only one. Boy, There's plenty of us out there. Tale. And I'm delivering it, lad. In any case, the witcher would carry her into the bushes time after time. He treated and cared. <laughs> God. Cleaned her. I don't need to hear this. Sounds normal to me. A man looking after his woman. It's too much to call it chivalrous, Yarpin. Ha! Wrong. Triss weren't his woman. Not his wife, nor lover. She was sick and in need of aid. And he was on a secret mission. Might have left her in some city, might have gone off on his own, but he didn't. Know why? Because he's got a heart of gold. He truly cares. A lad like you, Scalen, don't know that being a knight's not just about thrashing around in full plate a long sword in hand it's not just about fighting yeah i played i played the first i played the first witcher a little while ago and then uh i did play with that story because i never played it in the past and then the witcher tv show kind of was like okay i kind of want to play through the series again so we are playing and i played witcher 2 one time when it first came out way back 2000 God, 11, whenever it was, 10. Um, and then Witcher 3 one time when it first came out. So, I was like, eh, I figure it's about time to... figure it's about time to uh, play him again. Triss could be somewhere in this area. The plague. I have not seen her five years, must be. Since that day they proclaimed you dead. Last saw her in Rivia, in any case. From what I've been able Establish the Kingslayer forced her to teleport the two of them to this area, and she's not on the other side of the fog. What did this Kingslayer look like? A huge bald witcher wears a medallion with a snake on it. Story, huge is an understatement. I might know something. This drunk in Vargan claims he saw a redhead fall from the sky somewhere among the ravines. And then he said the sorceress Philippa Eilhart came around looking for this woman. Shriveled old minx. She sent her servant and some peasants to the ravines after her. But they came back empty-handed. Now Philippa's servant maid's gone, leaving the sorceress angry as a wasp. She even turned one of the plebs into a pig. <laughs> I spoke to one of those peasants. He claims the lass was no servant, but an Elfgardian agent. And she apparently found something in those ravines. Maybe it was Triss. And maybe it was that witcher. Madame Eilhart. Or the old minx, as Yarpin calls her. No, she's been duped and can't forgive herself for it. Did the woman flee south, deeper into Edirn? Fucking hell. She came out the main gate not more than an hour ago. Headed straight for the fog. Thought she might be out to do some magic probing or whatnot. She knew a bit of magic. She might have crossed. I guess I need to visit Schillard when I get back. 
Uh, yep. How's Yorbit? Any chance I might run into him? Minimal. He follows Sasuke around like a once neglected pup. Eyes on her at all times. At least the lass is well protected. What do you seek from Yorbit? Last I heard, you weren't exactly chummy. You heard right. When I last <laughs> saw him at Flotsam, he had something I need to lift the curse. Even if you see him, I doubt he'll give you anything out of the kindness of his heart. Perhaps Saskia can convince him? Guess I don't have much of a choice. Certain flag. Idea where I might find the Dun Banner? Try the Nether World. The whole unit was cut down during the battle three years ago. I meant the unit's standard, which symbolizes death. Ah, that makes it a lot easier. We buried it with the remains of the Kedwenis. Where? Just outside Vergen. I'll mark it on your map as the road could get confusing. Thank you. Strange <laughs> things are afoot in those crypts, Witcher. Kidwenny ghosts scaring off our folk. That would be normal since they were invaders. But one some kind of amateur historian asking all that. Oh, you watched Witcher one on YouTube? <sighs> yeah, it was. It was. Uh, <laughs> it was pretty brutal. It was a uh, man. Combat was ugh, rough, but I actually liked it to be honest. So glad I played it because I had never played it in the past. I have to see Saskia. To what end? To dispel the mist of wraiths. I need a few magic artifacts. What's Saskia got to do with that? How far are you in two right now? Those items. And what do you suggest I do? Yorvith and Saskia banned us from letting strangers in. And here are two old mates come over from the other side who want just that. A lose-lose situation if ever I've seen one. That ought to be easy to get around. Cow pies ought to be easy to get around. Yet we don't always succeed. I'm staying here, Yarpen. I want to join you, enlist. Will you have me in the Dwarven Brigade? Will I have you, Chiefy? Will I plow and have you? Why, I'll make you a fucking commander, you cocksucker! <laughs> Problem solved. Scalen, you're my witness. Zoltan's no longer a stranger. Aha. Uh -huh. All right. Now I'll introduce you to Saskia, and you can try to clarify the story with a sword for her, or whatnot. Don't you fret about the sword, Geralt. I promise to ascend to the fucking heights of oratory. Be soft as a mink, cautious as a novice strumpet. And I'll get you that blade <laughs> if I have to shave my beard off. Okay, right. whoa. That's that's a little extreme. We're headed for a tragedy. Now we're headed for a comedy. Ah, youth these days. Oh, like you chose Yorvith? You know what Zoltan and I saw at Brenna, lad? Like I said, the only reason I went the path I did was because of Roach. Um, basically because he saved my life, so I felt like I owed him. Literally the only reason. <laughs> Um, otherwise, I think Sasuke and uh, Sasuke has the better leader traits from what I've heard. I haven't actually got like talked with her or anything like that yet, but that's kind of where I'm at with this whole thing right now. It's nice to talk to you all, but we've got things to do. Ah, that's life. Open the gate. I've got to fetch me a certain sword. Wait a minute. Can I go in? By some miracle, you obtain that cursed blade. I'd advise you not to parade it out the 